Hello fellow Moonlars! In this video, I'm going to build this beautiful Lamborghini Aventador. It really looks like some modern stealth jet fighter. Aoshima made the kit. The box is quite large for a car model, therefore I was amazed that it actually overflows with the plastic. And each sprue is carefully packaged separately in the plastic bag. There is a car body cast from one piece. It only requires to remove runners and at the first glance I can barely see some moon lines. Also, if you think that the kit is not sufficiently detailed, you can buy extra details set with a nice photo edge parts, seat belts and metal chrome parts. So, I remove parts from sprue, or rather, in this case, sprue from plastic part. Now I glue parts with a super thin glue. The work with this type of adhesive is straightforward. It evaporates on air fast, so we don't need to worry about plastic details. I let the glue dry properly for one hour, and now I can paint the engine with a silver color. My favorite for this purpose is Silver 8 from Mr. Color. It is gleaming metallic color with a perfect coverage properties. And I need steel shade for exhaust pipes. For this purpose I use AK Extreme Metallic Colors. They have an extensive range of metallic shades pre-diluted for airbrush. So I like them also. Actually it is shame that the whole engine will be hidden under covers. Now I apply water slide decals with a carbon texture on another engine part. The decals are quite thick, therefore you need to apply a lot of decal setter to set them properly and be patient. However, result worth it. The chrome Lamborghini label is from spare parts. It is cell adhesive metal sticker and I apply it to dryer position and then remove cover foil. In the kit are some parts molded in the black, but it is always better to paint them with a black color. It will nicely unify surface. I saw a few car videos. People used some flocking powder to car interior for imitation of carpet. I found a few products, but everything was in the large packages and quite expensive. I wanted only a small amount for testing. I found that girls use similar flocking cashmere powder for their fingernails. And on eBay you can buy the whole set with 12 or 25 colors only for a few dollars. The application is straightforward. I apply a small amount of PVA glue with a cheap paintbrush and then through flocking powder. I am quite conservative with a color choice of a car body and interior, therefore I chose colors with a cool online 3D Aventador configuration. You can choose from color of the braking discs to body varnish. I made a few tests and I think that orange details in the interior are creating a nice color contrast to grey and black. Now I mix a similar orange shade with acrylic colors. The color has dense consistency, therefore I add a few drops of thinner. Mm -hmm. 
Now I paint black parts with a paintbrush and acrylic color. Or you can mask orange parts with masking tape and spray black color with an airbrush. Very nice acrylic silver color for brush is from Revel Aqua. I paint buttons and other details on the dashboard with a fine paintbrushes. I switched recently from Tamiya to Da Vinci or Army Painter. The seeds looks very uniform, therefore I try to paint a little bit of shading with oil paints. First I apply dark orange wash, it is just highly diluted orange color. Then I wipe off excess wash with enamel thinner. Now I paint highlights with light orange color. When work is done I let the paint dry for a few minutes. I think 10 should be enough. I blend paint with a dry brush. Oil paint is usually properly dry after two days, so you have a lot of time. Important is to have very smooth brush, otherwise brush leave traces. For example, I like flat paint brushes from AK or Armory Painter. I use for small details enamel wash, which will make a nice smooth contrast and mainly is dry properly after a few minutes. And for breaking discs, I use these metal parts from the extra set. Actually, Aventador has ceramics breaking discs, but I like this metal finish, so I let it like it is. So it is time for bodywork. You can glue these parts after painting, but I prefer glue and clean parts before. The body part looks perfect, but I know that I cannot see a lot of imperfections only on clear plastic. Therefore I spray grey primer which will reveal me a lot of them. I use for primer cheap Fengda 130 airbrush with 0.4mm nozzle. What a surprise! Can you see the ugly mold line now? Therefore, I highly recommend spray model with a primer first. Now I just remove all imperfections with a soft sandpaper. All the white areas are after repairs. 
I unify surface again with another layer of primer. And because the microstructure after spraying is not perfectly smooth, I polish surface with 1000 grit sandpaper. It is nothing more important as a super clean and smooth surface. All other steps depend only on this. So finally painting. I decided that I want to paint the model with a dark grey silver shade and with a slightly blue tone. After some testing I found out that very nice is gunmetal color from AK Extreme Metallic. It has very nice and smooth texture. If you do not need a super shiny finish, you can spray model only with this color. And I use for silver color my oldest airbrush, it is Hansa 581 with a 0.2mm nozzle. And I set air pressure to 20 psi. I told you that I want a slightly blue tone. I will reach this effect with a transparent color. This is the result after 3 layers and too much pronounced. Therefore I apply only one layer or two. I mix transparent color with thinner in ratio 1 part of the color and 10 parts of the thinner. The result with a blue finish is on the left. I am quite impressed. It is for the first time when I try something like this. It is still not all, I want a super shiny result. I mix my favorite clear varnish in ratio 1 part of a super clear free varnish and 5 parts of a leveling thinner. As you can see it has a very dense consistency, therefore I use a lot of thinner. I clean airbrush properly 3 times with ultrasonic cleaner. In this step is essential to have perfectly clean tools. Airbrush is infinity with 0.4mm nozzle and air pressure 25 psi. I apply 4 layers of varnish. I don't want to wipe off base color with varnish, therefore I protect result with 2 layers which I spray very slightly, just powder surface with a varnish. I let each layer dry properly for 5 hours and then spray 2 wet layers. It means that you apply more substantial layer of varnish. It will create feel like that the surface is covered with a smooth water layer. And I let dry everything properly again for 1 day after each wet layer. I think that this is my best paint job so far. In the kit is included mask for a windshield. It will help me to paint black edges. The model is almost finished. Now I only assemble wheels and glue small details. I prefer for gluing PVA glue, because if you accidentally touch the body, you can simply clean glue with the water.
I make panel lines more pronounced with black wash. And finally I assemble chassis and body. The last but not least detail. I polish the whole model with a Tamiya polishing wax and nanofiber polishing cloth. Especially it is perfect for clear parts which have almost invisible tiny scratches. And with this polishing wax I remove them. I want to thank you to Model Emporium eShop for supporting kit and tools for this video. Also is available Plasmo 10% discount for all products. So with this step is model finished. I am delighted that I finally finished another car model because I destroyed two almost finished models with a varnish or super glue last year. It is a pleasant change. I decided to build this model because I like Aventador style fighter shapes and I wanted to test a metallic finish. So here is the result. Thanks for watching and see you next time.